So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add your photo of a car in Photoshop like a professional. Actually, I already had one of these edits before. You can watch it. I will put the link in the description of the video. It's like a Ferrari we did there. And on this one, we're gonna do a BMW. So we're gonna transform this car into this photo. And you can see, we will change the lighting. We create light effects. We do color changes and all that good stuff. So the only thing you need for this is Adobe Photoshop and that's pretty much it. So you don't need anything else. You just need to follow my steps. I will tell everything what you need to change and then you will create the same edit of this photo. So let's jump right into this video and start creating this awesome edit. All right, let's dive right into Photoshop. You can find this image in the description of the video. You can download it and you can follow along with the same steps. So first of all, once you have this opened up in Photoshop, press Ctrl or Command J to duplicate this layer and then press right mouse, convert to smart object. And then we're gonna go to filter, camera raw filter. And here we're gonna do some basic adjustments to this photo. So first of all, let's look at light here. The exposure I'm gonna leave as it is. I'm gonna drop the contrast a bit. Let's say minus 38 or something. Then I'm also gonna increase the highlights because I wanna have this light pop a bit more in this photo. Next, we're gonna go to shadows. I'm gonna make them slightly darker so we have a nice contrast. And I'm also gonna increase the whites so we can make these highlights really pop out of this photo, just like that. And let's slightly increase the blacks so it doesn't get too dark. Now let's move on to color. The color we're gonna leave as it is. Then we have effects. In effects, we can also do some adjustments. So if we want to make this image slightly softer than it is, we can drop the texture here and we can also increase the clarity like that. So we still see all the details. Now let's move on to curve. Here we can play with our lighting. So what I usually like to do here is I would also like to add some highlights so we can make these highlights really pop out of this photo. I'm also gonna increase the lights, but not as much just a little bit lighter and the darks we're gonna leave and let's make the shadow slightly darker just to have these nice black tones. And that's it for this one. Let's move down. Here we can play with the colors. So probably increase the aquas all the way to the right. You can see this. We get this nice blue tones then on the car. I like this one. Let's move down to, all the way down to calibration. And here I'm gonna play with the colors again, especially the green. Let's increase the green here to 550. And let's also make it more saturated, just like plus 20, like that. I think this looks nice. Let's also do the blues a bit more, plus 30, this is fine. Now you can see these nice blue tones. All right, and that's it for camera raw. I'm gonna press okay here, and you can see we had this, now we have this, we have these nice lights now. All right, the next step here is to change the sky. I wanna have a different sky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to edit and select sky replacement. And here we can change the sky to something we have. So if you have your own photo or if you have a stock photo of a beautiful sky, you can simply edit here. You can see here we have all these skies from Photoshop or you can add your own sky or a stock photo sky with this button here. So I think I'm gonna use this guy. You can also try other ones if you like, to, but I kinda like this one that we had. Let me find it again, this one. I think this one fits nice with this car. It has blue and the car is also a bit blue, so it blends well with this image. Just gonna slightly adjust this a bit. Let's drop the shift edge slightly here and I'm gonna increase the fade edge. So we have a nice fade. Let's also increase the brightness, slightly lighter. Maybe the temperature, a bit more bluish. Because we still have like almost a sunset dark kind of setting. So I wanna have a bit more blue. Let's increase the scale here. Maybe it's a bit bigger. You can see here the sky ends here. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what we need to fix. But let's first fix this. This is fine. And I'm gonna press okay. Now you can see Photoshop created this folder with the sky. Just here, 
you can see it ends somewhere here. Here you can see that line. This is a bit of a mistake. So what I'm going to do to fix this is I'm going to make a mask on this sky layer, this folder actually, and then I will take a brush. And just with the black brush, soft round brush, keep the opacity and flow at 100%. Make sure you have black selected as a foreground color. And then we can just brush this line here away. And now we have no mistakes in this edit. And that's it for the sky. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer. And I want to create a light effect. So you can see there's somewhere down there a sun. We also have a bit of shadows here, so the sun is somewhere there. So I have a new layer. I'm going to select the brush and let's select a color. Let's sample this sky here, but more like kind of yellowish, almost too white. You can also copy the settings if you want to have the same color. Then press OK and just make a dot in the center like that. And now with the move tool, I can move this dot around. Let's first press Ctrl or Command T to bring up the free transform. Now I'll make this bigger. And then I will move it there. And if I hold down Ctrl or Command on Mac and I take one corner of this free transform window, I can stretch it out so I can make more like a light beam, just like that. And if you hold down Alt or Option on Mac, you can zoom in and out with your middle mouse scrolling. And let's take this one. Let's make like this kind of effect. Maybe rotate it a bit. Just like that. You can see we created some nice sky there with a beautiful sunset. You can change these blend modes to a different one. So usually screen works pretty good or color dodge kind of looks good too. Maybe this is even better. It's more like whitish now. I'm going to duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. You can see we have now double that effect. But this one I'm going to use another one. So let's try out overlay, but I'm going to change the color. So if I press Ctrl or Command U, I can click on Colorize. And then when I drop the lightness and increase the saturation, I can change this color. So here we can set a color. So if you want to have more like kind of fantasy thing, you can really go with different kind of colors like this. But I would like to keep it a bit more realistic. So I'm going to go with the real color of the sun. So maybe something like orangey, a bit yellow orange, maybe less saturation and something like this. This this looks pretty cool. And now we can even move this around. Oh, you need to be careful here or else the car is get, gonna get green of these mix up colors, but make sure to keep it somewhere there. Just an extra effect. And if it's too much orangey, just drop the opacity here slightly so it blends better with this image. Now let's work a bit more on the colors. I'm going to add an adjustment layer on the top of this one. It's called color balance and with color balance, we can adjust the colors. So what I want to do is I want to add some cyan to this. So I'm going to drop this to cyan. So less red. I'm also going to remove some of the green to get more magenta. And I'm also going to increase the blue to get more blue tones in this. Maybe just a little bit less like that. And I think this looks nice. Now, the next step is to create a new layer and let's work also on the lighting of the car. So what I'm going to do is here we have white selected as a foreground color and with the brush, we can make a light effect. So we can either just put this opacity and flow at 100% and the hardness at zero, and then we can make lights like this. So you can see this is pretty easy. Now, the other thing that we could do is we can create a new layer and we can use my lighting brushes. If you want to get my lighting brushes, you can get them for free. If you watch my other video where I show a discount code to get them for free. So I will link this video in the description of the video. If you want to get these brushes, you can get them for free. Flare here. Let's add a flare. Just want to make the brush smaller here. I'm going to add a flare like maybe there, just a small flare like that. I'm also going to select another brush, but I'm going to make a new layer. And now I'm going to select one of these other brushes. So I need to be sure that I select the right one. Let's also do this one. 
this one looks nice like that and maybe we can also keep those so we have the other ones and we have my lighting brushes and this one maybe you can drop the opacity slightly and now we have lighting we can also make a bit of a light area in front of the car because the lights are now on so we can also just take a normal brush and drop the flow here make this kind of like that and then change the blend mode to overlay and now you can see we created this lighter area in front of the car right so like the light is on and we have some lighter area on the front just want to make sure i don't do it on the car but only on the road and that's pretty much it for this and you can duplicate this if you want to have it really light but i think this was a bit too much so i'm going to leave it like this now let's add a curves on top of this so i'm going to select curves and here i'm gonna move these sliders a bit so not this one i'm gonna go to red and i'm gonna take the darker tones move them slightly to the right like two then i'm gonna go to green also moving this one and also the blue too much blue so i want to make darker tones less blue like that and i think this is fine just a little correction now if you want to have more colors you can add a color lookup and here you can select tree strip and this is going to give this really nice effect the only thing you need to do is to drop the opacity because i think it's way too much now usually at darker settings we don't have that much color so you could also add the hue and saturation you can slightly drop the saturation to make this look more realistic like that and I think this is already fine. Maybe a bit more colors. So this depends on what you want to do with your image. You want to have it more realistic, then I will drop this one. If you want to have it like more colorful, you can increase this one. But I would say drop it a bit, maybe minus 20. So we still see these nice colors, but not so colorful. And that's pretty much it. So if you want to learn more about Photoshop, make sure to check out one of these videos. In one video, I will give my lighting brushes away so you can create really awesome light effects in your car photos or maybe some other designs you have. Or you can watch the other series where I edited this Ferrari. Until then, catch you on the next one.